And we're back to mid journey, new update, and it's a big one. They've added this edit function right here, and you can upload your own images and the notifications and the updates. You'll find the official announcement. Let me start a new one here. You can always click on the top right to new. And you have two options edit from URL or edit uploaded image. And let us upload one first. It opens your explorer. Just add one. It may take a while. But here we have it now. And now this works like the regular editor for the images generated by Midjourney. So let me, for example, change the background here. I cut the boy out. You don't have to be perfect. Midjourney is going to complete the hair and the facial structures anyway. And we make that little boy screaming in fear because of a monster. Should be fluffy and made of marshmallows. Let's see what it does. And here you go, completed the boy, gave it a new background, added my marshmallow monster. Let me open the original so that we can compare it. You can also change the aspect ratio. So as I've said, this works like the regular editor, but now you can do it with any photo with your own. So from Unsplash, for example. Whenever you want to work on a new one, click on the top right on you. And this time let us edit based on a URL. To get the URL, you find a photo, maybe from Unsplash here, then right click. And afterwards you just copy the image URL. Depending on browser, in my case, it's simply called copy image link. And then we have the URL here. We can paste it. Control V or right click paste and then simply confirm. And here it is now. So this was the original. It found the correct one. And we cannot just use the editor here. There's also a new function, which is called retexture. And you can use that if you don't want to add changes to a specific area, but to the entire photo. So instead of using edit, we'll use retexture on the left here and then you can just reprompt it and uh, leave the image alone so you don't have to paint here using the brush let me just colorize it and see what it does it's a little bit of a hit and miss but it runs gives us some interesting results here let us try a new one maybe i use this woman here and this time i make it in the style of van gogh It ran, but it also changed our model. So I should have specified that. I'll just go back to the original and then I make it black woman in the style of Van Gogh. Let's try again. And the summary results are closer to the original. You can still add your own images here in the prompt. So for example, a style reference, I'll just use a texture. I want to have black woman green leaves and this texture as a style reference.
and it added it uh, to the fashion, so the clothing that she's wearing. Gave it a hat here. So this also works. Interesting use case is obviously the character consistency. I'm used this photo of a guy driving a car. And now I want to change him to this woman. So I use this woman image in the prompt, set it to character reference, and then I use the edit and paint over the guy, erase him. Prompt is woman driving blue car. As I've said, character reference is the uploaded image. Now let's see. First one is okay, not perfect. Second one, arm looks bad. Third one is unusable, but first one, it's somewhat okay. And you can definitely see resemblance between the woman and the original. So we could use that. You have two options here under export. You can download it directly or upscale it to the gallery. When you upscale it, it's going to be under create and it's going to be a little bit bigger. So high resolution. When you want to upscale it, wait till it's done. Left click as always, and then you can download it right here. Hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.